Hello, my name is Stephen Smith and uh, I'd like to show you advanced order placement on TradeStation. I'll be using version 9.0. If it seems that I'm rushing through this, I am because I only am allowed 10 minutes on YouTube and last, uh, it's a pretty complex subject to talk about. So first of all, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a custom COOSO order to set up a trade that will enter the trade when the price reaches our specified level, it'll place a stop loss at a predetermined level. It will place one target at a specified price, a second target at a different price, and it'll move the stop loss to break even once the first target is hit. Uh, first, you must uh, realize that I am not a uh, an employee of TradeStation or my professional instructor or trader. I make no guarantees as to what I'm presenting is accurate. I'm not recommending any trade or trading platform. You're responsible to be sure that what is presented actually does what you want to do. I recommend, uh, highly recommend that you use the simulator to see this action in action before committing any real money. Trading is risky and you can lose money, therefore do not risk more than you're willing to lose. The video is this video is my personal property and may not be sold or distributed without my permission. This is the trade that I, again, I'm not necessarily recommending, but it's the one we're going to use to demonstrate this. Uh, one more thing I need to tell you is that I'm running on a Macintosh using Parallels. The video capture program, however, seems to have a flaw and that when I'm pointing right now as I am to OCO slash OSO, if I have clicked in the window, you will see this uh, the cursor has jumped above. So I will try to point this out as we go along. So this is how we start by pressing the button here that says OSO OCO brings you down a menu. We select the second item from the bottom in that menu, which is the custom OCO slash OSO order. So clicking on that brings up this dialog. We select the third order type, which is OSO order, and we click OK. Now um, that will bring up this dialog here, and the first line is where we can put in the name, for, and the second area here we need to be concerned with is where we put in the uh, symbol. So uh, my suggestion here is to use a meaningful name. I always put the date in the name so that I can find it easily and remember when I place the order and then I can have the same order for uh, again later or slightly modified version. So I'll show you what I do there in a minute. This is uh, where I put the value. So I'll put 110909 because it's the 11th year, the 9th month, 9th day and the order is uh, ESZ11 and I also put in the uh, direction which is short. Coming uh, down below where it says type OSO symbol I put in ESZ11. You have to put in the contract month and year and this is a cell because it's a short. The quantity is 2 and we go over here to this column and make sure that the duration is good to cancel because if it is not and you reach end of day, the rest of your order will be canceled even if you've gotten into the position. Uh, okay, so uh, going back, uh, we make sure we select the symbol that's the first line in this in this row here, and uh, we select um, attach single order as OSO. So that gives us one line. We're going to need another one. But however, before we do that, we have to go back and select the symbol in the very first line because we want this rule to apply to that. So we click it again. Make sure that when you've done this, you have everything lined up here as one, one level, level of indentation. Now I'm going to select these two indented ones by clicking on the first one and dragging to the second one. You'll only see one be highlighted, but the box will be around both. And now I'm right clicking on either of them and I say group as OCO. That gives me this little um, little icon here, OCO, and it gives me the two items indented yet again here. Okay, so at this point I will make one change. I'll change this to a 1 <coughs> and um, now 
I will click on again the, the first of these two orders here and I will say attach bracket as OSO. Now these numbers all in this case what I'm using two order two contracts for this whole thing should be a one for the quantity. The number of targets is one even though we have two targets. This is the number of additional targets past the first and uh, the protective stops is one. So that gets gives us this setup. Uh, this should be changed to a stop market. So now uh, the this cell should be a buy and this cell should be a buy so we should see a cell followed by all these others being buy and the first line should say two for the quantity and the last line should be, say two for the quantity uh, we're going to get into this as a limit order and that will be at 1186.75 and um, our target one is 11.84.75 and our target 2 is 11.71.75 our stop market, this stop market, the fir first one here, this one that's indented is the new stop market, the new stop loss so this is 11.86.75 because we said we're going to move to break even of course, you can pick whatever number you want for that. Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked in the wrong place. 1186.75, and this is our original stop loss, 1188.75, which is, is right here. Okay, so now we've got this all filled out. We check this. This is good to cancel. This is the account number that you want to execute this from. Here's my my values for my uh, entry, my first target, my second target. These are stop markets, so everything's fine. One thing to point out is if we were below the price and it's a short order, um, this should be limit. If we were above the price, when you come down to that, like a breakout situation then this would have to be a stop market but it is uh, uh, it, it's, it's properly a limit in this case and just invert that logic if you're going long but if you're uh, waiting for it to go to a place generally you're like in this case we're below it waiting for it to come up to that price so that's how that would be uh, set up then now we have our choice down here to either place the order, place in stage, or stage the order. I will stage the order because I want to have that this order in my staged orders so that later I can refer to it. So I'm going to click stage stage order, and uh, now it's it's in there. But at, at this point, it would never be submitted until I tell it to submit the order. So uh, in this case, here's the order that I've just created I can right click on it and I can say customize at trade station order bar and you'll notice now here's the same order that we just were working on so at this point I can simply place the order and since we're out of market after market hours then it's going to give me this message so I can say yes I can review this compare that to this basically here's my limit here's my original stop loss here's my uh, first target my second target and here's where I move my stop loss to so I can say yes and it now places the order I can go back to the orders tab I can see it in there if this were during market hours this would already be white but it's not so now it's still green because this hasn't been actually submitted or placed it's ready to be placed it's queued um, now uh, if you uh, um, were to if you want to cancel it, you can cancel from here, whatever. So there it is. Um, again, I, I remind you I'm not a trade station employee and uh, I'm not a professional trader, so uh, you know, just use this at your own risk. Hopefully this is, has explained everything for you. Thank you.